since the process for installing TWRP and rooting your OnePlus 3T is different than the OnePlus 3, I decided to go ahead and create a separate video for how to install TWRP and if you choose to rooting your OnePlus 3T. So you can see here I have the OnePlus 3T right here. And to start you're going to need to enable developer options. You're going to need to have the bootloader unlocked. Just go ahead and enable USB debugging as well. You're going to need to have ADB and Fastboot tools installed on your computer. And you're going to need to download the TWRP image onto your computer as well. And you'll need to move that into the same directory as your ADB and Fastboot tools are in. You will either need to download SuperSU if you want to root your OnePlus 3T or you'll need to download a flashable zip file to let your phone actually boot once you have installed TWRP. If you skip installing SuperSU or this DM Veridity and Force Encryption Disabler zip then your phone will not boot. So please follow all of these instructions for download links to all of this and for step-by-step -step instructions on how to install ADB and fast boot tools, unlocking the bootloader, all of that stuff will be in the full tutorial which will be linked in the description below this video. Once you have all that done, you'll want to start the ADB service and then connect the OnePlus 3T to your computer with a USB cable. You can go ahead and run that ADB devices command again to make sure that your phone is recognized. And again, these step-by-step -step instructions are in the full tutorial. Once you have all that done, we're just going to go ahead and boot the OnePlus 3T into fast boot mode, which is also known as bootloader mode. And once you get to this menu, we can turn our attention to the command prompt. Once you have your OnePlus 3 at fast boot mode. You can see here I have the twerp.image file in the same directory as my ADB and fast boot tools are in. This will actually download with a bigger file name and you'll just want to rename that to twrp.img just to just to make it easier to type out. We can, we can go back to our command prompt. The first command you're going to want to type out is fastboot space flash space recovery space twrp.img or whatever that file is named and then press enter on the keyboard. So we got two OK responses here. Then you're just going to want to type out fastboot space boot space twrp dot img and once you type out that second command just go ahead and press enter on the keyboard again you're going to see your one plus three t reboot
So this is going to boot us into twerp. And then we're going to be asked for our pin pattern or password so that it can decrypt the data. Once that's done, you can see we're taken to the TWRP main menu. And again, from here you have two options. If you do not want root access, then you should have that tool that I mentioned earlier in this download folder. And again, that will be linked in the description where you can download that. You can even copy it from here or to here from your computer while you're in TWRP in case you forgot. So from here you will either need to flash install that tool or you'll need to flash install super su. I'm just going to do super su for you now. So whichever one you choose just tap on that one and then swipe the white, the white arrows to the right. Now I have previously tried to install the SR version of SuperSU and I was unable to get that to work properly so it is currently advised to use the stable version. I'm currently using the stable version of 2 Seven nine. And once that's done, unless you get any big errors here, which you should not, it's a good idea to read this notice. It tells you your first boot may take a few minutes, and it can also loop during the middle of it. So once that's done we're just going to tap on the reboot system button. With all that then we can go ahead and disconnect the USB cable. going to take you to where it asks you the pin pattern or password. Just enter it and then it's going to reboot again. See, so we're just going to start it back up again. You'll be asked to enter your pin pattern or password yet again. And once that's done, instead of rebooting a second time, you'll be taken back in to the Android operating system. So that's how to install TWRP on the OnePlus 3T.